Hey there, good morning everyone or good evening wherever you are in the world. Happy Sunday morning for those of us in the East and Saturday evening for those in the West. So today's share is um, a little bit ironic for me. I was joking with a friend just earlier and saying, never let it be said that I'm a woman of few words. Hey Liz, welcome. So I, I was, uh, like I said, I was joking, and never let it be said that I'm a woman of few words. So then when I sat to meditate this morning and I shuffled the cards and I got this card. So I'll show it to you now. It's the card that's called Silence. <laughs> And so I had to sit in meditation for quite a while today until I could really access that place of silence. So what I want to do now is I would like to go into silence for a moment and connect with some of the layers of meaning related to this card, uh, both in terms of silence and its actual sort of traditional meaning as the star card in the major arcana and just really allow whatever needs to come through to come through from the still point place of silence first. So please be patient with me as I go into just a moment or two of silence and notice what arises. So the first thing that arises in the sitting is a nervousness about allowing myself permission just to be silent. And the second is that when I breathe into my heart, so I imagine that my breath is going into my heart space and I'm just breathing from my heart space that the nervousness drops and I give myself a moment of permission to be in the silence. And as I tune in now to the image of the card, <clears throat> I'm aware of the vastness of space and that when we don't allow ourselves the spaciousness of silence, we don't have available to us the infinite possibilities of the vastness of the universe. And what I'm aware of next is what a blessing it is for us to give ourselves permission to be still and to not have to figure things out, to just allow the spaciousness, <clears throat> the blessing of that, the silence of that. The still point places where all answers are and yet to get there requires the surrender of the mind that wants to figure out, find the answers, get the solutions, make the plan, do the next steps, know what's ahead, all of that. All of that must be surrendered into the silence in order for real guidance to come in. And this connects now to the traditional meaning of the card as the star card or the blessings of the star goddess who is often imaged as a female pouring water into a river or somehow connecting earth and water, earth and water, grounding into the flow by allowing the silence 
which opens the space for receptivity and the answers to flow in. So, I guess my invitation or request or question is how much silence do you allow in your life? How often do you give yourself permission to sit in silence and to surrender the thoughts that want to figure it out or get the answer or do the next thing or amuse yourself or entertain? Hey, Tammy. Hey, Natasha. Hey, Michael. So how often can you simply relax into the silence and receive from the place of silence where the mind becomes still enough to access the vastness of the cosmos for the answers you seek or simply the peace of mind that we all benefit from. And again, in a traditional deck, this is the star card. So it's the blessings of the star goddess who pours the waters of peace and tranquility upon us, often following great tumult or stress. And if we stay busy all the time, if we never allow ourselves to drop into the stillness and silence of the mind, then we have no way to process guidance or transformation or difficulties in our lives. So in other words, if we have ha had a difficult or stressful situation in our lives, a big change or transition, and we don't allow ourselves the silence of the mind, the stillness of the mind to integrate, but we just go, go, go. We never have that opportunity to receive higher guidance. So again, my question, and if you'd be willing to share in the comments below, I'd love that. When was the last time you gave yourself permission to just sit in silence? And how did that go for you? What gifts have, has silence brought you of insight, of guidance, of rest after a difficult period? It's okay to be gentle with yourself and it's okay to give yourself a frickin' break from thinking and doing and just being in the silence. So I'd love to hear from you if you have any insights that you want to share or any aha moments or if this message is particularly resonating for you at this time, I'd love to know. And uh, again, the invitation, give yourself permission to sit in silence and receive the blessings of the star goddess so that you can access or tap the vastness of the cosmos for your answers. Okay, my dears, with that, I offer you, as always, bright blessings for a beautiful day or a sweet dream sleep. Until tomorrow, mwah.